Meanwhile, the head of the Department of Homeland Security faced questions today about how the Secret Service allowed a gunman to get within shooting distance of Mr. Trump at Saturday's rally. One man in the crowd died. The former president and two others were injured. Masahi Shahi is in Butler, Pennsylvania with the latest on the investigation. CBS News has confirmed that on the day of the assassination attempt, the shooter purchased a box of ammunition with 50 rounds. He fired from the rooftop of a building about 400 feet from the stage. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, whose department oversees the Secret Service, fielded questions Monday about how the gunman was able to get that close before Secret Service counter snipers shot and killed him. An independent review will be conducted to understand the facts regarding protection of the event and make findings and recommendations accordingly. President Trump's ear was grazed by a bullet. Two other people were hurt. 57-year-old Marine veteran David Dutch and 74-year-old James Copenhaver. Both are now in stable condition. Retired Fire Chief Corey Comparatori was fatally shot. He was a man that was full of love. The FBI identified the shooter as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Investigators say they found rudimentary bomb materials at his home and in his vehicle. Neighbors say they saw nothing out of the ordinary. We have nothing to share to, to make some logic out of something that's completely illogical. Um, so uh, they were... They were very friendly. Law enforcement sources say the rifle found on the shooter's body was legally purchased by his father well before the attack. So far, investigators believe Crooks acted alone and the motive remains unknown. He was a registered Republican but did make a $15 donation to a progressive organization in 2021, according to the Federal Election Commission. The chairman of the House Oversight and Accountability Committee announced he will hold a hearing next week with the U.S. Secret Service director on the attempted assassination. The Biden administration previously announced it has ordered an independent investigation into the shooting.